welcome to ME tutorial. This is the second lecture of my course Dam Engineering and today I'll be discussing about analysis and design of arch dams. So let us discuss about the various forces that will be acting on an arch dam. If, uh, as you have already uh, know in case of gravity dams the forces acting uh, on a gravity dam similarly in on arch dam all these forces which will be uh, which acts on a gravity dam uh, the same forces acts on a arch dam also but the uh, but the importance and significance of that uh, force may be different in case of arch dam okay uh, say in case of gravity dam we have studied about reservoir and tail water pressures so in arch dam also the same water pressure is significant okay similarly uplift pressure but in case of arch dam since uh, i have already discussed in my previous lecture if you have not seen my previous lecture you should uh, watch that introductory lecture about the arch dam first uh, i have uh, put the link of suggestion here okay so uh, before uh, uh, going into the details of this forces acting on arch dam and analysis you must uh, watch the previous lecture okay so now move on to uplift pressure uh, in my previous lecture i have discussed that the base width of an arch dam is uh, is is less in case of uh, 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 in case of arch dam that uh, comparable to that of uh, gravity dam why it is so uh, because gravity dam um, the main stabilizing force in case of a gravity dam is weight of the dam so for that a massive body of a dam is required but in arch dam since uh, the, the the section is not that much massive so the significance of uplift pressure is less So next force is earthquake force. We have to calculate the earthquake force as per the uh, as per the IS code for earth, uh, that is IS uh, IS 1893, and we have to estimate the earthquake forces based on response spectra method, time history analysis. Okay, so uh, you can uh, work out the earthquake forces also. Okay. Similarly, silt pressure. Now for the silt pressure to calculate. Uh, it has to be estimated where the problem of silt is uh, silt accumulation is uh, significant okay only then you have to consider the silt pressure there is no uh, uh, th this is this is not a major force which is always present okay so you have for a for a uh, silt pressure to estimate you have to know the dead storage you have to know the depth up to which you allow the deposition of silts okay so all these factors you have to consider and then you can estimate the silt pressure okay then next is wave pressure similarly uh, in case of gravity dam um, i will post uh, these forces acting on a gravity dam in my uh, another lecture okay in my another lecture there i will uh, discuss all these in a uh, great detail okay so uh, similarly uh, wave pressure on arch dam is similar to that in a gravity dam okay and ice pressure as you know that uh, in a colder area the uh, the the snow and ice uh, uh, ice deposition is there okay because of the te freezing temperatures so there you have to consider the ice pressure uh, uh, otherwise uh, this uh, pressure ice pressure can be neglected okay so in our in our case the major force is uh, mainly reservoir and tail water pressure and uh, this uplift pressure we can neglect okay um, this uh, uh, ice pressure we can neglect okay so this silt pressure also we can neglect only in cases where this is significant we can we have to consider this Oh, uh, other, uh, this earthquake is also a major force okay this we cannot neglect knowing that the forces which will be acting on the arch dam now we can uh, very well uh, we very well analyze our dam okay so to analyze uh, analyze arch dam there are 
mainly three uh, theories uh, to to work out the analysis of an R's dam. The first one is thin cylinder theory. Okay. Next is a theory of elastic arches, and the last one is trial load method. Okay, uh, this is a very uh, basic, basic, very preliminary uh, analysis theory. So first, let us discuss about the thin cylinder theory. Okay, assume that the 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 stresses in an arch is same in a thin cylinder. Okay, just like in a thin cylinder, the 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 stresses are uh, same, uh, approximately same. So uh, uh, likewise here in case of an arch dam, we assume that the stresses in an arch are same okay are same so uh, now let us consider a, a section of an arch say suppose this is a section of an arch okay okay and this is a Now consider a central arch line like this because this is the outer uh, outer part. This is the inner. So uh, the radius here is different as the, from the inner part. So in order to take the uh, equivalent radius, so we consider a central line. Okay, like this. Here, uh, the, the this is the upstream portion of our arch, arch dam, and this is the downstream portion. Okay, this is the whole span. This is the whole span. Okay, L. And uh, now say this is the center line. Okay. The, the the whole angle is say say two theta. So due to the similarity, uh, consider this to be a, a circular arch. So here the mid line, this line, will divide this central angle into two. So this will be theta and this will be theta. Okay. Now, since this is upstream part, so the water will be exerting pressure like this on the upstream face of a dam. Like this, this will the water pressure say the intensity of this pressure is say p okay and this will be the horizontal equivalent pressure so say this is e h okay uh, because we are uh, looking at a plan this is a plan okay this is a plan okay so uh, this will be the horizontal uh, force uh, or uh, horizontal uh, water force or reservoir uh, pressure okay uh, say uh, the the horizontal thrust the, the reaction at the abutment you can say the reaction at the abutment will be like this okay uh, along the center like this so say this is r reactions okay now uh, the horizontal component of this reaction say to be uh, you can say uh, this angle what will be this angle uh, this angle will be 90 minus theta okay this angle will be 90 minus theta because this is theta okay so this angle should be 90 minus theta Okay, this is very simple. Okay, so this angle should be 90 minus theta. So this horizontal component of this reaction will be R sine theta. Similarly here R sine theta.
sin theta okay pressure this water pressure so in order to calculate the horizontal force how to calculate the horizontal force that is ph equivalent horizontal force ph will be the this is the force okay so ph will be the pressure multiplied by projected area projected area okay so remember that whatever the calculation that we will be doing we will be doing it for a unit uh, depth of a dam okay for a unit depth so say the thickness of a dam here it is t okay this is t and we want to calculate the projected area so what will be the projected area the projected area will be the unit depth of a dam okay say this is the section elevation right? okay this is the elevation okay like this like this so uh, say this is unit one unit okay and uh, the uh, this is here p okay and uh, uh, this is a total span l okay and half of this will be r sin theta okay and this is t so this pressure this pressure act at all the levels okay this is the pressure intensity which will act at all the levels so what will be the projected area the projected area will be this width okay this width multiplied by the depth and depth is unit one unit so pressure and pressure p is gamma w h where gamma w is the unit weight of water and h is the uh, total depth depth up to which uh, a total depth you can say okay up to the maximum water level so it will be gamma w h multiplied by the projected area so what will be the projected area l l means 2 r sin theta multiplied by 1 so it will be 2 r sin theta okay so simplify this this will be equal to 2 uh, gamma w r h sin theta say this is equation 1 okay now this water pressure must be balanced by the reactions at the abutment okay since this is the horizontal uh, water pressure so the horizontal component this this should be equal to the horizontal uh, component of this uh, reaction to the abutment so this ph this ph should be equal to 2 r sin theta okay 2 r sin theta r sin theta this one r sin theta and r sin theta so this will be equal to 2 r sin theta and so uh, put the value of ph from equation 1 this will be 2 gamma w r h sin theta equal to 2 r sin theta okay uh, this is not this is r yes this is r because the, the the component this is the horizontal component of the reaction not the radius okay so i i made uh, due to this r and this r so i was confused so that's why it is two two gets cancel out okay sin theta sin theta gets cancel out so it will be r is equal to gamma w into h into r okay say this is equation number two okay okay the confusion was due to this r and this r uh, this is the radius and this is the reaction okay 
so this should be the because since this is the component of this reaction so this should be capital r sin theta not the small r okay and here it is a small r sin theta because uh, this is related to the radius okay this is the theta this is perpendicular so uh, you can calculate now uh, this component so this is r sin theta where r is the radius okay i should write here r is the radius radius of arch okay and theta 2 theta is the central angle central angle and uh, h is the depth of water level depth of reservoir level reservoir okay and uh, uh, what is remaining r r is the reaction at abutment at abutment okay now uh, another uh, way to discuss this is now let us now uh, calculate stress compressive stress okay so calculate the compressive stress what should be the compressive stress say sigma compressive stress should be the reaction divided by the thickness multiplied by one okay. since this is the t thickness and unit depth here t into one okay t into one so this should be the r means gamma w h r over t okay this should be the compressive stress now for the safety the say, say the allowable allowable compressive stress say fc okay so here your stress sigma should be less than the fc okay so here gamma w h r t should be less than f c okay and for the limiting for limiting value you can say f c should be equal to gamma w h r over t okay so here we can calculate t equal to the thickness of the arch where t is the thickness of the arch okay so t should be equal to gamma w h r over f c so based on uh, based on this expression we can uh, we can conclude that the thickness if uh, this is constant okay this is the allowable stress which should be constant and gamma w of what uh, this is the unit weight of water which is all again constant so this t depends on depth of water and depends on the radius what does it mean and it is directly proportional this is directly proportional so it means that the thickness varies or thickness increases when the radius increases and when the depth increases so at the bottom at the bottom of the dam okay at the bottom of the dam the thickness should be more here since the because we measure the depth from the still water surface so uh, h is maximum here at the bottom so and since this uh, thickness depends on the h on the depth of water so uh, the thickness should be more at the base near the base okay the thickness should be more near the base here okay and similarly it is proportional to the r so uh, when you increase the radius so this t should also be more okay this is the important conclusion okay now let us move to 
another topic uh, now i hope that uh, you have very well understood uh, the thin cylinder theory okay uh, since this assumes the stresses to be uh, same so that's why i have uh, equated this with the compressive stresses okay uh, so that is how you can calculate the thickness of the required thickness of the arch at different levels okay at different levels that we will be computing and uh, when we will discuss the uh, the examples and discuss the illustrative problems uh, then we will discuss uh, we will compute all the, uh, the the values of thickness at different levels okay when we will do the design part of this arch dam so based on thin cylinder theory that is how we are. so you have to remember this expression okay uh, let me write down it here t where t is the thickness is equal to gamma w unit weight of water h r divided by f c f c is the allowable stress for the concrete so now let us discuss about uh, the central angle for minimum concrete what does it mean it means that uh, in order to uh, maximize the economy of uh, uh, the arch dam there should be a certain value of a central angle where the requirement of volume of concrete is minimum okay so uh, how to calculate that uh, central angle now let us discuss here suppose that uh, uh, let me select this pencil okay so uh, suppose that this is again uh, as i have discussed in the previous figure this is uh, the arch okay uh, this is the pressure p and uh, the radius is a small r okay and these uh, this is the uh, the horizontal uh, half of the span uh, r sin theta r sin theta and total span l is uh, l is 2 r sin theta okay here it is the uh, elevation so a unit height one unit this is the height uh, this is the thickness of the arch and l will be the uh, span of the arch okay so uh, now let us uh, calculate the volume of concrete per unit height since i have selected a unit depth so it is the for the per unit height okay so volume will be equal to this is curved this is not a plane a linear uh, element so uh, since this is curved so the length here should be should be what what should be the length length should be 2r theta 2r theta why why 2r theta because uh, we know that angle is equal to arc length over radius okay since this is angle uh, so angle is here the total central angle the total central angle here is 2 theta so angle here is 2 theta okay arc length is that we need so say it is l say in this case and radius r so l is 2 r theta okay that i have used in my expression here okay and t is the thickness so it is t and height is unit height this is one okay so say v is the volume so it will 2 r theta times t okay now remember i have already calculated the expression for the thickness and what is that expression you remember what is that expression hmm? uh, sorry what is that expression that expression is t is equal to gamma w h r over f c so we can put the whole expression for t here so it will be v is equal to 2 r theta 
गामा डब्ल्यू एच आर ओवर एफ सी ओके एंड दिस विल बी इक्वल टू टू आर स्क्वेर और लेटस टेक द कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म्स इन टू इज कॉन्स्टेंट गामा डब्ल्यू इज कॉन्स्टेंट ओके एंड हियर एच आवर एफ सी and also r square and theta uh, these are the terms okay now again uh, if you can see here say this is the now i should uh, change uh, this l2 small l okay i should change this l2 small l okay why because i have used uh, this curved at as capital l over here okay so i should change this to small l uh, because this is the projected length this is the projected length okay this is the projected length and uh, this is uh, the curved arc length you can say okay arc length so both are different so this project uh, projected length small l is equal to, uh, to 2r sin theta so from here r can be calculated as l over 2 sin theta so put it here okay put it here uh, let us see what it will give you it will give you v equals to 2 gamma w okay h okay over fc okay r square means l over 2 sin theta okay square and theta okay so here v is equal to uh, gamma w okay h l square over 4 uh, fc okay theta over sin square okay now here we can see that this gamma w this gamma w uh, not this pen this is not good yes this pen this gamma w uh, here is constant okay since the depth this is the maximum depth so this should be constant fc is the allowable stress this is also constant and l is the span this is also constant because the span is not going to change and this is for this is a constant so this whole term in this parenthesis is a constant term so we can write it as say uh, the symbol for this constant say k so we can write it as v is equal to uh, let me change the pen v is equal to k times theta over sin square theta okay now in order to calculate the the minimum volume with respect to a certain angle so we have to we have to uh, derivate the v with respect to theta uh, because our aim is to calculate the uh, the central angle for minimum concrete okay so here we have to cal minimum concrete means volume uh, okay this term means what does this term indicate this terms means volume and this term says angle theta so we have to differentiate this with respect to angle so now let us calculate d del v by del uh, d theta is k is constant so and this is square so d theta means 1 and this is sin square theta okay minus 2 uh, sin theta okay uh, cos theta this is the derivation of this part and theta divided by sin 
for theta. Okay. And in order to calculate the minimum volume, this we have to equate this term to be equal to zero. So it will give you sine square theta minus two theta sine theta cos theta equals to zero okay. and this will give you sine theta equals to two theta cos theta okay because this sine theta cancel with this uh, one sine theta okay so uh, again uh, this can be written as two theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta okay and this can be written as 2 theta equals to 10 theta okay this is the final expression so what should be the value of theta in order to calculate the value we have to solve this expression okay so by solving this expression uh, we can we can solve it okay so by solving this expression the theta comes out to be equals to uh, 2 theta sorry 2 theta comes out to be equals to 133 degree 34 minutes okay this part you can calculate uh, you can solve this equation okay how can so i can give you a, a example you can solve it say take function fx how to solve this okay i'm telling you this uh, say function fx is 2 theta and say another function gx is 10 theta okay you you, you can plot these two graphs and where the graph uh, intersect each other that will be the solution so you can get 2 theta is equal to this 133 degree 34 minutes okay now remember when you plot the graph you have to plot it in uh, radians and then you have to convert that into degrees here okay it means that what does it mean it means what is 2 theta 2 theta is actually the central angle this is the central angle okay. where it is here here this is the central angle okay and this central angle should be equal to 133 degree 34 minute only then the volume of concrete required will be the minimum okay so this will be the central angle for the minimum volume of concrete i hope you understood uh, this uh, computation of the central angle if there is any doubt you can ask okay you can ask the question you can post your question in the comments so let us discuss about the limitations of the cylinder theory okay in this theory the arch section is considered as a cylinder a thin cylinder but for the practical purposes the cylinder uh, the the arch section is not a thin cylinder okay so this is the uh, first limitation of this uh, theory okay and also uh, this uh, arch dam is not free at abutments but in our computation we have considered it as to be a free at the abutment okay in this theory we have assumed that in this uh, theory does not also considered about the shear and bending stresses okay we have all uh, we have only considered the compressive stresses okay we have not uh, considered the shear and bending stresses but in arch the the, the shear and bending stresses may also be uh, there so this is the second assumption the second limitation of this theory in this uh, uh, thin cylinder theory the main force that we have considered is, is to be a hydrostatic water pressure but uh, for practical purposes the the temperature stresses may also be there and also uh, in colder areas the ice pressure may also be there okay so th this is another uh, limitation of this theory because we have not considered the temperature stresses and also the ice pressure stresses due to yielding of abutments and due to rip shortening have also not been account accounted in this
theory and also the plastic flow of concrete and shrinkage effect in concrete have also not been accounted so all these are the limitations of this thin cylinder theory so for that uh, to in order to uh, in order to uh, overcome all these shortcomings of uh, thin cylinder theory uh, we will discuss about the uh, to the next two uh, other two theories that will be trial load method and elastic theories okay so uh, i hope you liked uh, this uh, lecture uh, this was about the analysis and design of uh, of an arch dam uh, in today's lecture i have discussed only i have only focused on the uh, on the thin cylinder theory okay i have not discussed about the uh, the other two theories i will be discussing it in, a, in my uh, other lectures okay and uh, uh, the things uh, i have uh, discussed about uh, uh, the central angle which will be the what should be the uh, suitable central angle for which the volume of concrete is minimum so i hope uh, you have understood well uh, and uh, you must like uh, this uh, today's lecture and if you have any question then you can ask it and post your questions in the comments and i'll be happy to answer okay so take care goodbye